finding the salary of 10th year by using arithmetic progression. Now, before we get into the question, let me give you some context. You know, there could be a situation where an individual might go and join a company. Okay. The company to start with tells him, okay, we are going to pay you a particular salary. Let's call this salary as X. The salary of X will remain in force for the first 12 months since you join in and after 12 months we will give you 500 rupees more okay and every year so let's say for example if my salary is x in the first year after 12 months which is the second year my salary will be x plus 500 in the third year my salary will be 500 more than what it was in year 2 or in other words it will be x plus 500 plus 500 or x plus 100 right and so on in this situation we say that the person has joined a company for a salary of rupees x with an increment increment basically refers to the increase which happens in the salary on an annual basis for rupees 500 now if you notice the difference between the salary in the second and the first year is rupees 500 right Similarly, if you see the difference between the salary in the third and the second year is again 500. Why? Because it is x plus 1000. I'm sorry, I didn't put a third zero over here. Minus x plus 500, which will give you 500. So effectively, this increment that we were talking about is kind of the difference, the common difference, which is there. And x or the starting salary is the first term. Now, when you know these first term and the common difference, you can easily find out what will be his salary in any particular year. It could be 10th, 15th, 20th or whatever number of years that is there. This is what we try and resolve in this particular problem. A man is employed at a salary of rupees 4000 per month. Okay, so when he joins in, he gets 4000 rupees per month at the time of joining with an annual increment annual means every year increment means the increase which happens in the salary of rupees 500 right so every year his salary is going to increase by 500 such that in year 2 it becomes 4500 in year 3 it becomes 5000 in year 4 it becomes 5500 and so on now the question which is there for consideration is what will be his salary per month in the 10th year of service. This is a monthly salary. The increment of rupees 500 is annual. Right. So we know that the nth term or T10. Why 10? Because we're talking about the 10th term. Well, let me just put in the formula first is equal to A plus n minus 1 times d right where a is the first term so what is the starting salary the first term or the starting salary is 4000 plus n what is the year in which we need to find out a salary we need to find out what is the salary in 10th year or in other words t10 is equal to 10 minus 1 what is the difference in his salary from year 1 to year 2 from year 2 to year 3 and so on the difference we know is the increment that we are talking about which is 500 right now if we just resolve this we get the answer 10 minus 1 gives you 9 9 times the 500 gives you 4500 right or his salary will be 8500 in the 10th year and that is your answer